hello 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 this is Aisha Jamila Kalabangura I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creations and I wanted to do a PSA to um, cut down the going out and looking for sanitizer and to show you a simple um, do-it-yourself hand sanitizer that you can make in with stuff that's already in your home so um, without further ado please share this video please let this video go viral so people don't go out and spend a, a lot of money on sanitizers um, I heard some people are paying $600 for a gallon can you imagine okay anyway so here comes the, the, the things you're gonna need to make this hand sanitizer number one you're gonna need um, alcohol and you want to make sure it's 90 um, well 60 F, um, CDC says 60 and above but I'm using a 90% alcohol and also you want to make sure you have aloe vera gel which this is my brand shadow creation aloe vera gel um, you also want to make sure you have a funnel not necessary where you need it um, something to mix with a container to pour a spray bottle to put after you're done a measuring cup and I have actually added some um, essential oils to the formula already so the alcohol already is already pre-measured but I'm going to show you how to measure it and the gel so these are your main ingredients let's go over it one more time so you're going to need rubbing alcohol the higher the uh, concentration the better this is 99 percent and you're going to get aloe vera gel and um, the better the concentration this is 92 percent um, the better um, also if you want to add essential oils to it so it doesn't keep your hand dry and a spray bottle or any container you want to put it in something to mix with a measuring cup and a funnel to pour so without further ado let's go so this is the um, alcohol we're gonna do two-thirds of a cup so this measures one third so if it filled up then it's two thirds correct now it's one third then we're going to do two so that's one third and that's another one third which gives us two thirds correct and now for the for the um, gel you're gonna need um, one third so I'm just gonna use the same spoon I'm gonna use to measure make sure you guys can see I'm just gonna scoop it in there because it's a really nice thick gel which I like and this is a clear one and I'm just gonna level it off to make sure that I got the one third and I'm just gonna put it directly into the container okay once you put it directly into the container I told you I put a little bit of essential and I'm going to put um, a little bit, very one drop of, um, I love, love lavender oil, just for the smell, the fragrance, whatever, and the moisturizing effect of it. And you're just going to mix. And the longer it sits, because the alcohol evaporates, the thicker it gets. So you want to mix, mix it real good, and I'm going to show you a finished product. I'm terrible at mixing, normally because I use a mixer. So you really want to mix this really, really good. And why do you put the, the aloe vera gel? It helps to keep your hands moisture and it also helps to just bring it together. Okay, so now, before I got on the air, I had made another one that I'm going to show you because that's already, I mixed this one with, um, with um, how you call the thing a mixer but the spoon will do well but for time we're going to use the one that's already made this is thickening up already the, the longer it sits the thicker it becomes and this has been sitting for a minute and i just want to show you what it looks like and you can use any kind of fragrance you want this is a cool mint that i put in this one and you just get a little spray bottle you get something to like a funnel and you're just gonna scoop it in there and then I'm gonna show you how we spray so because I have um, it has thickened up a little bit it's better for you to put it in a container before it thickens up or what for a while so you get it there we go the gel is finished it's filled and you're gonna take the cap you're gonna put it on it And when you first start pumping, you might not get anything coming out. So make sure you do a couple of squirts. 
the gel is out see how thick nice and thick it is and the goal is to rub it in for a little bit till it dries so while you rub it in you're actually getting all that contamination all the junk gone so I want to make sure that you share this video. It ain't going to cost you much to make this. You have everything. I mean, maybe you don't have aloe vera gel at home, but you have everything you need to make. And you can make big batches for the kids, for you, for your friends. You can give it away as a gift because a lot of people are looking for um, hand sanitizer right now. And it leaves your hands moisturized the way I did it. So that's it. My name is Aisha Jamila Kadabangwa. I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creation. Please feel free to share this video. Please make sure we all stay safe during this time and keep your distance. Peace. Assalamu alaikum.